بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایوری ون آئی ایم محمد عمار دا اسٹوڈنٹ آف پی زولوجی ان دا پریویس ویڈیو وی اسٹارٹ دا چیپٹر آف اینڈوکرائنولوجی دا کمیونیکیشن ٹو اینڈ ان دیٹ ویڈیو وی ڈسکسڈ اباؤٹ دا کیمیکل میسنجرس ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس ہارمونس دیئر فیڈ بیک سسٹم اینڈ میکینزم آف ایکشن سو واٹ آر دا ہارمونس Hormones is derived from the Greek words hormone meaning to still or in motion. Hormone is the specialized chemical messenger that an endocrine gland or tissue produces and secretes and it circulates through body fluids and affects the target sex. So the hormones are secreted by specialized endocrine glands or tissues. and they travel through body fluids that may be the blood and after the traveling they have to reach their target cells and after reaching the target cells they show their effect so how the target cells recognize the hormones the target cells have some specialized receptors to which chemical messengers either selectively bind or which they have an effect so the target cell has specialized receptors which are only recognized by that hormone which have to bind on that target cell if we see the biochemistry of the hormones the hormones are basically polypeptides amines and steroids in polypeptides we can see the insulin and glucagon these are the polypeptides and thyroxine and calcitonin these are amines while the steroids may include the testosterone fsh or the oxytocin and so on now we discuss the feedback control system of hormone secretions A feedback control system monitors or controls the changes in the animal or in the external environment and send information to a central control unit such as the central nervous system which make an adjustment so what it controls it controls the changes in animal or the external environment and it sends the information to our central nervous system which is the brain which then control or which makes adjustment it is usually of two types that is the negative feedback mechanism and the positive feedback mechanism the negative feedback mechanism it is the feedback system that produces a response that counteracts or stop the initiating stimuli then it is called the negative feedback mechanism so what is it it is in this system the response is stopped by the stimuli that creates it so if we look at the example of the negative feedback mechanism we will clearly understand what it is so look at the diagram the hypothalamus we know that it releases the trh which initiate the pituitary gland to release thyroid stimulating hormone The thyroid stimulating hormone causes the thyroid glands to secrete more thyroxine. Now, the thyroxine what to do? The thyroxine increased it increased the metabolic rate. So after that, when it increases the metabolic rate, the thyroxine causes the hypothalamus to release less TRH. And when the hypothalamus release less trh it causes pituitary to secrete less tsh and then it causes the thyroid gland to secrete less thyroxine which in turn causes the decrease in the metabolic rate so this is the negative feedback mechanism in this the response stops the initial stimuli by which it is created The other one is the positive feedback system. Uh, in our body, the most reactions are controlled by the negative feedback mechanism because 
it balances it create balance and we need balance uh, the positive feedback system are also occurs but in rare cases the positive feedback system it reinforces the initial stimuli or it increase the initial stimuli to increase the response or the output is enhanced it enhances the output to the original stimuli in this case when the stimuli causes a response the response causes more stimuli and then the more response is produced so if we look at example we can see during the delivery or the pregnancy the brain stimulates pituitary glands to secrete oxytocin then the oxytocin causes the contraction in the uterine wall and then the contraction causes the release of prostaglandins prostaglandins this is a uh, collectively we can say the hormones which uh, causes the dilation or the contraction of the smooth muscles and this prostaglandins causes more oxytocin to secrete it which in turn stimulate the brain to causes the pituitary gland to secrete more in this the uh, you can see the response causes stimuli to produce more response in this the output is increased and the next one now we'll discuss the mechanism of hormone action hormones modify their biochemical activity of a target cell or a tissues basically there are two mechanism which involve the hormone action the number one that is the fixed membrane mechanism and mobile receptor mechanism we'll discuss one by one both of them the fixed membrane mechanism the or the fixed membrane receptor mechanism in this this mechanism applies to hormones that are proteins or amines they are water soluble and cannot diffuse across the plasma membrane these hormones initiates their response by means of specialized receptors on the plasma membranes of the target cells so uh, why it is the fixed membrane mechanism because in this the hormones cannot enter into the cells why because they are water soluble and we know that the plasma membrane that is composed of the phospholipids and uh, that is uh, uh, difficult for them difficult for the water soluble hormones to cross the membrane so how they perform their action they perform by means of specialized receptors the specialized receptors are present on the plasma membrane they bind with them which then initiate the enzyme which is present inside the cell and which perform its activity so let's discuss its mechanism the first step involves that is the diffusion of hormone from blood to the target cells the hormone which was circulating in the blood it is diffused in the target cells which is present on the plasma membrane surface so these hormones binds with the receptors which are present on the plasma membrane surface and in turn this activates the enzyme that is adenylate cyclase which is inside the plasma membrane and this enzyme converts atp to the cyclic amp and then cyclic amp activate the enzyme protein kinase and protein kinase perform its function then after uh, the performing of the function another enzyme that is the phosphodiesterase it inactivate the cyclase amp which causes the hormone to detach from the plasma membrane so look at the diagram here we'll discuss in detail this mechanism you can see in diagram that there is a hormone which is water soluble it binds to the uh, plasma membrane surface 
and this hormone form hormone receptor complex it cannot enter into the uh, cell because it is water soluble and it is difficult for them to cross the plasma membrane so this hormone receptor complex activates the enzyme adenidate cyclase which is inside the cell and this converts ATP to the cyclic AMP after the conversion of ATP to the cyclic AMP the cyclic AMP activate an enzyme that is protein kinase which is already present in its inactivate form after the activation of protein kinase the protein kinase perform its function it convert ATP to the ATP and adding phosphate to protein and after this the cell responds to that hormones and when it uh, function occurs the uh, enzyme stops the cyclic AMP then it causes that enzyme which is binding to the surface of plasma membrane this uh, hormone detaches from the surface and then then these receptors are available for the new reactions so this was the fixed membrane mechanism now the mobile receptor mechanism in this the hormones which are lipid soluble and they can easily diffuse into the cytoplasm where they have to initiate their response by binding to the cytoplasmic receptor so why it is mobile receptor mechanism because in this the hormones have to cross or have to diffuse across the plasma membrane because they are lipid soluble and there is no difficulty for them to cross the plasma membrane the following steps involved in the mobile receptor mechanism in first steps the steroid hormones which are lipid soluble they diffuse to the target cells and then they bind with the receptor cells and after that the receptor cells and the target cell actively move towards the nucleus where they initiate the transcription where the double standard DNA converts to the single standard mRNA and then mRNA leaves the nucleus and comes to the cytoplasm where its translation occurs after translation the new proteins that are formed then it mediates the cell response here you can see in the diagram that this is the steroid hormone it enters into the cell it crosses the plasma membrane because it is lipid soluble it binds with the protein receptors and then steroid protein complex moves into the nucleus here it starts transcription in the process of transcription this double standard DNA molecules converts into the single standard mRNA and after the formation of single standard mRNA it leaves the nucleus and comes into the cytoplasm and in cytoplasm its translation occurs it is translated to form a protein and that protein mediates the cell response and in this way the mobile receptor mechanism occurs so this was everything about the hormone their feedback systems and uh, their mechanism of action in the next video tutorial we'll discuss about some invertebrate hormones so kindly subscribe this youtube channel for further updates thank you so much